Hello everyone, today we'll start with the topic reaction of amines with nitrous acid. So primary amines, secondary amines and tertiary amines, they react differently with the nitrous acid. So first we will see the primary amines, how the aliphatic primary amine react with nitrous acid. So let us take primary amine RNH2. So this is our primary amine, aliphatic primary amine. It reacts with the nitrous acid that is HNO2 and this HNO2 is formed by uh, in situ. In situ means in the reaction mixture of NaNO2, sodium nitrite and HCl. Right. Uh, then what is formed? First diazonium salt is formed. So RN2 plus Cl negative. So this is the diazonium salt and uh, this is unstable. So what will be now formed? You will get now uh, alcohol that is R here I am writing ROH plus N2 nitrogen gas and plus HCl. So this is the reaction of primary aliphatic amine with nitrous acid right. Uh, first diazonium salt is formed then it is uh, unstable so uh, then uh, you will get your alcohol nitrogen gas and HCl. So this nitrogen gas uh, when it is uh, released then bubbles are formed right. So this is the characteristics of primary amine. Now second is uh, secondary amine. So how the secondary amine will react? So for example you take uh, R2N right and you react it with HNO2 and your reacting mixture will be NaNO2 and HCl. Now what will you get? You will get your uh, nitroso amine right. So what is your nitroso amine? It is R N. Here H will also come, right? So R N N double bond O. So this is your nitroso amine, and your water will be formed. H two O, right? So uh, this nitroso amine, this is yellow oily liquid. Right. So this is the characteristics of secondary amine when it reacts with your uh, nitrous acid then uh, your nitroso amine will be formed which is yellow oily compound. Right. Now uh, next is your tertiary amine. So what will uh, be formed when you react tertiary amine. So this is R3N. This is your tertiary amine. When you react it with HNO2 that is nitrous acid in the reacting mixture NaNO2 and HCl what will you get you will get a salt which is water soluble so you will get R3 N H plus NO2 negative so this is a water soluble salt uh, which is formed when you react your uh, tertiary amine with nitrous acid so you can differentiate between primary, secondary and tertiary amine that when primary amine is reacted with nitrous acid then your N2 is released uh, which is gas and uh, when your secondary amine reacts with nitrous acid then your N nitroso amine is formed which is yellow oily compound and when your tertiary amine reacts with nitrous acid then what is formed your water soluble nitrite salt is formed right. So this is how you can differentiate between primary, secondary and tertiary amine using nitrous acid, right. Now uh, one more thing that the temperature in the reacting mixture is 273 to 278 Kelvin, right. And this N2 is also characteristics, this uh, the amount of uh, N2 release will also characterize the amino acid and protein present, right. Uh, so this was uh, about the aliphatic part. Now what will happen when you react nitrous acid with your uh, aromatic amine? Then also your diazonium salt, salt will be formed, benzene diazonium chloride will be formed and that benzene diazonium chloride salt is used for making uh, other organic compounds. So what is the reaction we will see. 
so uh, now we will react aromatic amine with uh, nitrous acid so we will take aniline so aniline is c6h5 nh2 and when we react it with nitrous acid now nitrous acid is formed in the mixture reacting mixture that is in c2 so it will be nano2 plus HCl 2 HCl and the temperature will be 273 to 278 Kelvin and what will you get you will get your disonium chloride benzene disonium chloride and uh, NaCl and water so you will get your C6H5 N2 plus Cl negative so this is the formula for your uh, benzene disonium chloride right and NaCl and water 2H2O right now this benzene disonium chloride is used for making many organic compounds so this is an important compound so uh, this is all for today I hope you have understood today's topic thank you